President-elect Trump has been quite active on Twitter, including this week, at the beginning of this week, that tweet, which I want to show right now about the popular vote. And he said, in addition to winning the Electoral College in a landslide, I won the popular vote if you deduct the millions of people who voted illegally. Th that claim is groundless. There's no evidence to back it up. Is it responsible for a president-elect to make false statements like that? Well, I, I, look, I think, I think four years ago, the uh, Pew Research Center found that there were millions of, uh, of uh, inaccurate voter registrations around. Yeah, but the, the author of the, the study has said election. it is not any evidence about what happened in this but, election or any evidence of voter fraud. Look, I, I think what, you know, what is, what, what is historic here is that uh, our president-elect won 30 of 50 states. He won more counties uh, than any candidate on our side uh, since Ronald Reagan. And, uh, and the fact that some partisans who are frustrated with the outcome of the election and disappointed with the outcome of the election are pointing to the popular vote. I can, I can assure you, if this had been about the popular vote, uh, Donald Trump and I had been campaigning a whole lot more in Illinois and California and New York. And no one is questioning your victory. <laughs> Certainly, I'm not questioning your victory. I'm asking just about that tweet, which I'm going to say that he said uh, he would have won the popular vote if you deduct the millions of people who voted illegally. That statement is false. Why is it responsible to make it? Well, I, I, think, I think the president-elect just wants to call to call to attention the fact that, um, that 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 there has been evidence over over many years of that's of not voter what he fraud. said and uh, uh, and and expressing that reality, the Pew Research Center found evidence of that four years ago that's is not certainly the they found. certainly his right. But you know, it's, the, it's his right to make false statements. Well, it's it's his right to express his opinion as a president elect of the United States. I think one of the things that's refreshing about our president elect. Um, and the, it's one of the reasons why I think he made such an incredible connection w with people all across this country is because he, he tells you what's on his mind. But why is it refreshing to make false statements? Well, uh, look, look I, I don't know that that is a false statement, George, and neither do you. The simple fact is that there, I know there's no evidence there for is, it. Uh, there is evidence, historic evidence from the Pew Research Center uh, of, uh, of, of voter fraud that's taken place. We're, we're in the process of investigating uh, irregularities in the state of Indiana that were leading up to this election. That's uh, the fact that voter fraud exists is but can is, you provide a, is a, any is a evidence, fact in this country. Can you provide any evidence but, to back up that statement? Well, look, look I, I think he's expressed his opinion on that. He's re, he's entitled to express his opinion on that, and uh, I think the American people, I, I think the American people find it very refreshing that they have a a president who will tell them. What's on his mind, and uh, I, I think uh, I think the, the connection that he made in the course Whether of this it's campaign true or is not. reflective of that. <laughs> They're going to tell him what he's going to say what he believes to be true, and I and I and I know that he's always going to speak speak in that way as president.